Hello guys, so after a lot of struggle and trial and error, I finally managed to make the perfect rig for a green pencil character like this. It's a rigify rig, a very elegant rig and uh, easy to make rig and without any lattices. So I saw some tutorials, they were great, I learned a lot from them to make uh, rigs for 2D characters, but all of those use lattices and I thought that why let's go to edit mode i have these uh, meshes here you see all these points why should i use a lattice why don't i just use a uh, weight painting to assign the drawings to my rig and also i didn't want to use a regular uh, rig but i wanted to use a rigify rig a beautiful elegant rig let's uh, see this rig in action okay so let's select our rig and go to pose mode and here we can move our rig like this with R to rotate the arms, look at this beauty we can rotate like this and then rotate like this with uh, inverted kinematics for the legs you see here you see you can move the leg up like this like this and you can turn it around like this too no not with this but with this cross here, let's select the cross uh, and G, you see you can flip the foot like this you can flip the other foot also like this so you have this or two you can move no yeah you can move of course you can move with G like this <laughs> and have a long hand just like Luffy's from one piece but you can also rotate it like this or like this you can have oh you can do a lot of things with this rig and as a bonus we have these tweak bones that rigify adds and these weak bones also we could have this kind of animation select everything and go back to the initial pause and see what this tweak can make also we have bendy bones and everything is bendy here as you can see you can do this can you rig do this? Can you rig do this? You can do this too to your head, you see, and you can rotate your spine like this. There's some, there are some problems here, but we can fix with uh, weight painting. So this is our our elegant and beautiful rigify rig for our 2D character, and today we are going to remake this rig from scratch. So the first thing we do is we hit delete this rig, hit delete, and then we delete our original rig that we made that uh, we created our rigify rig from so we delete these two and then we have these widgets we enable this collection of widgets and then we select all the widgets we delete every one of them and then we delete the widget collection and now all we have is our character so our character is composed of an arm a right arm or a left arm with a few layers here arm and hand and in the strokes here we have stroke depth order i think 2d layers so we need this so that if we flip the hand if you flip it you still see the hand inside inside the, 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 the. if you do 3d let's uh, yeah let's see this if you do 3d we have a mess here 2d layers the same for the leg here so we have also two legs of course we have a leg and we have a foot too and we have the same uh, 2d layers stroke depth order thingy we have a body too so we have arm one arm two body this body and we have a head with a hat in it the head has a lot of layers i created a lot of layers in the head but so we want to rig the head so we only will rig the body so these are our layers and now let's start creating our bone structure so we hit shift a armature and then single bone you hit tab to enter edit mode x delete bones yeah delete this bone we are going to this tab here how is it called object data properties and we go to rigify here and we uh, just type in here tents and we create limbs simple tentacle we are going to use these samples from rigify okay so tentacle and then we add sample and then to display make it in front so we have this first uh, tentacle that we are used as a spine okay <clears throat> there are some spine types here 
in Rigify, but for the sake of simplicity, to make our car to make our rig simple and yet effective, we will use tentacles. So Z make this here and then G Z put this down here and then again G Z put this here. So we have two bones for the body and one bone for the neck. We may only need just one bone here because we are going to use bendy bones later in this tutorial. So stay tuned. Uh, we will select this and then hit extrude E on the keyboard. Let's hit Z to make it vertical and we add another bone for the head. So this is our tentacle. If we uh, click this bone and then we go to pose mode here, we can see that our bone has a type. It's limbs simple tentacle and these has no type. The first bone in our chain, in our tentacle is what will tell Rigify the type of this chain. Okay, let's rename these bones. We will create some simple names. So F2 here, we name this head, enter, and then here F2, neck. We name this body, and then here also body. We use the same name here and here, but Blender will add 001 to the second bone. So they have unique names, you see? Let's go again to edit mode and another tentacle add sample g move it here we only need these three bones you see so here f2 we call this arm no here we have a left arm and right arm so we, we need to to type arm and then dot l arm l and then here we do the same arm l again and then and dot L and then we add a new tentacle add sample move it up here and we will have so uh, two bones for the legs and two bones for the foot because we want the foot here to bend when the guy walks if you want to make it just one one bone you can do that but I'm going to go for two bones okay we name this to leg L leg dot l foot dot l and the second bone same we name it foot dot l here we go so we have the first half of our body and we will just symmetrize this but before we do that let's add some more bones so let's go to this bone we could go here and extrude the new bone but we will just do a control d and then right click and then select this bone here I hope I just want to select this okay nice this uh, ball here <laughs> G and make it big like this so this bone will be used to uh, add inverted kinematics to this leg you see and it needs to have the same direction as this bone here I didn't know that and I uh, just put a bone like this in another direction and then I it got me into trouble so Z and then we hit Alt P and clear parent we don't want this bone to be parented to to the other bones okay and then we rename this bone this will be used for inverted kinematics so I K and then dot L and then we will duplicate this bone again and put it here and this also will be used for inverted kinematics and it is the one that we will use to flip the leg let's name it leg flip let's name it leg flip to know that it's for the leg and also this rename it to leg ik okay select everything and let's go to armature symmetrize and here blender will create the symmetrized guys okay so let's select these and move them GX to here, maybe. And then I don't know what to do with these, honestly. So let's select them. Can we mirror them? Armature, mirror, global X. Yes, we can do that. And now rotate Y and rotate them like this. And then move them up like this. I think we have our uh, basic structure. Let's check if we have our types here because sometimes magically bone types disappear and uh, we got an error when we uh, generate our rigify rig. So let's check them again. 
uh, first this one we are in pause mode yeah limp simple tentacle keep this uh, checked assign tweak layers this yeah we have that also <laughs> now to these bones this guy here we need to uncheck the form and then we need to give it a type okay and the type we will give it is basic super copy we want control for this guy we will add a widget i like to give it a widget of a pivot and that's that cross you saw before okay and then no the form no the form here and i guess no the form here too okay we do the same for this guy we should have done it for the first leg and then copied it uh, with some strides but well the more you do it the more you will uh, memorize it so it's not a, f a waste of time to do one task several times i made this rig several <laughs> a dozen of times maybe always with mistakes always with errors to get to this to this perfect trick you see so basic super copy and check the form and check the form here too keep control here and use here we use a pivot pivot yes and then to this guy again nice you see these guys have no parents not this not this not this i guess let's go to edit mode not this i guess and then what we will do is to parent some bones to some other bones so we select this this and then turn this to parent these two to this and then we hit ctrl p keep offsets okay and then we select this and this and this and then ctrl p keep offset so this is our first phase i guess i hope i didn't miss anything we go to object mode and we go to here and to generate rig bingo wow the first try i'm proud of myself that hard work had had paid off we can hide now our armature here and we can go to pose mode the first phase is done so let's put our rig in front like this what we want to do now after creating our rig is create inverted kinematics so we select first this bone and then go here to bone constraints and we see here our constraints that look like uh, just like modifiers we don't need this copy rotation constraints we will delete it and we will replace it by an inverse kinematics constraint before we edit this we go to our bone here the foot bone and we delete the copy rotation here we will need it later but uh, we want to make it from scratch i found that that was better and then to this bone too it has another constraint copy rotation we will delete it too so these constraints work well for uh, tentacles like for this guy here if you rotate you see if you rotate one bone the other's bones follow it too but we don't need it here because we are going to use inverted kinematics so let's go back to our leg bone here and to our bone constraint for the target we will hit this uh, eyedropper we will use the rig again here for the target we use the rig for the target bone we will use our ik rig here uh, ik bone ik left bone and for the pole target bone we will use our flip left bone now our rig is all messed up but we will fix it very quickly here in the chain length just put two and it's almost fixed here so the chain length is the chain length of the inverted kinematics i guess it's one two bones so it's two and then the angle you see that the angle here is messed of our foot bones so we just change the zero to 90 degrees and it is fixed as you can see so let's try our thingy so it works our inverted kinematics works very well you can move this up and you can use the pivot the pole rotation thingy to flip the foot as you can see but if we uh, go here and let's first select everything with a and then alt r alt g to uh, put the rig to rest position so you see if we uh, select this guy and then we move it you see that the lower part won't move but the foot is rotating with our movement and we don't want that if we move our body and our feet are on ground you don't want the foot to move you want it to stay horizontally 
positioned on the ground that's why we will add again to this foot bone we will add our uh, copy rotation constraints for the target of course it's the rig and for the bone it's our IK inverted kinematics left but now we see this deformation again in the bones rotation the first thing we want to do is to go to edit mode and then check these two bones uh, you see a lot of bones here and that's because our uh, tweak layer is activated so just activate our regular bones so we have this bone selected this is the foot bone and this is the ik bone okay and there's a value here if we hit n in the keyboard and go to item there is a roll value here so for our ik it is 40 and for our foot bone it is minus 50 so let's make them the same value let's copy this guy here Control c and then go to our other bone Control v and let's do the same for the other foot here it's minus 15 Control c and we go here it's 75 Control v and we are done so now back to pose mode let's try to move it and see what happens so we move this guy it seems to work but if we move our pole bone or our flip bone the foot doesn't flip so back again here I think we should remove the Z from here so let's try again now it works it seems to work like this it goes up if we rotate the IK bone the foot will rotate with it and if we move the spine bone like this the foot will stay in place I think these values here are correct so XY activated default here replace here and uh, the roll value don't forget to check it in edit mode and you are good to go let's do the same for the other leg so we delete the cup rotation from here we delete it from here and from here and we try our mm, it's not working so what's wrong yes i think i know what's wrong you go again to inverted kinematics and we change this to 2 in the chain and we change this to 90 degrees and now it should work so if we move this guy it moves if we move this guy the foot stays on the ground and if we move this guy the foot will flip very nice i think our rigify rig is now complete so this is the second phase was done successfully and very quickly let's get our rig let's put it inside the the collection of our main rig so we get this guy we put it here inside and then we get our widgets and we put them to with that guy we select everything here and then we hit i think control rig here to make it the the one active the one with light orange and not dark orange and now we hit Control p and we set a parent to our rig with empty groups don't use automatic weights because automatic weights with grease pencil they are primitive we will draw our weight ourselves so we parent it with empty groups our objects are inside our rig here are parented to it we go to the arm and go here to our object data properties and we go down here and we see that we have some groups or the vertex groups that were added to our object there are some uh, vertex groups that we will need for this particular object for our arm and others we won't need that's it so let's delete some vertex groups let's keep the arm groups let's keep the body groups too because they may influence our arm and then these are for the right arms let's delete them just be careful not to delete something you need the legs we don't need anything from the legs or the feet or the right leg or the right foot nothing of that the neck i don't think the neck it may actually influence our arm we may need that so just delete the head grab so let's do the same for our other parts of the body two thousand years later so now it's time to start weight painting our character so we select our rig and then we go here and choose this guy here i think so these are the bones that are used for our vertex groups let's enable names now here to see the names of each bone 
and now we go back to object mode and we start weight painting so first we select the head we hit control tab and select white weight paint and now we go here and go to our vertex groups and look for the head group and it's this one it's already red i think it's from a previous rig yes yeah, so it's weight painted already so if it wasn't you just go zero like this make it like one here one weight and then paint it entirely so this is very simple for the head it's really very simple and we don't need an influence in any in any of the other bones here let's go to the arm you can go just from here instead of going back to object mode and then again to weight mode so you see these dots here we choose the arm here the left arm and there are our groups here so deaf arm l we choose this one and we try to paint it's already painted here let's unpaint it and do it again why not as I said, the more you do it, the more you undo it, the more you learn. So this part here, we paint. We first select the group that corresponds to this bone, and then like this, and we just keep a little bit here, so that uh, when we rotate the arm, this guy here won't uh, go and leave an empty space here. So we want these uh, edges to stay on the body even when the arm moves, and you'll say that in action later. So we select this for this it's already painted and now you hide your arm and then we have our hand here and then you go to your hand bone and you weight paint your hand like this you make it red you'll find it black or blue you make it red and then you unhide your arm layer so it's only three layers like this but we have also to add some weight painting to this part here so diff body we go to diff body so usually when i weight paint anything in the 3d interface usually you can paint like this and then you hit alt and you can do the contrary but here it doesn't work i don't know why i tried with control with shift nothing works so you have always to switch between 0 and 1 all the time. We paint just enough so that this dot is red. You see, when it's red, it means that there will be a full influence of this bone on this. Again, just enough to have this red spot here. And we go back here, arm L to check. You see, and here, just enough to keep this one very blue and this one also very blue. And try not to leave empty space like in here, for example, between the arm L and arm L1, here and here try not to leave anything like this dark blue without painting it because that will uh, cause some glitches when you move your bones so here for example this one is green and here it's also it's bluish green so there's not enough influence here let's move this like this to have more influence in uh, the edge here and then here again so i think this is good so this is for uh, one arm let's do one leg too so let's go to our leg here and choose leg l here Death flat egg is already painted as you can see let's paint it a little bit more here and then we go to this guy here and again it is painted and then to paint the foot you should just hide the leg also yeah when you paint the leg you should hide the foot too choose this bone the foot l and paint it like this as you can see and then this other part here where we want the foot to bend with this bone so foot l01 you paint it like this too and also make sure in the edge the ones that are not painted by this should be painted by this don't leave any empty vertices so back to the neck for the neck, I like to use a paint of like uh, 0.7 and not 1, so that the influence is not that strong on the neck. So this is the bone, the neck bone, and it goes up to this. So the body, we go here, and then we paint this area. Now the weights get it back to 1, and we paint this area like this, and then body 001, and we paint everything else. Beautiful. It was very easy painting, weight painting this character. You see that we forgot to unhide our leg here. So back to the left leg and unhide our leg. And now we go to object mode and we select our rig and go back to pose mode. We will change our bone display to B bone. And this is our, I think, final phase is to add bendy bones. For each of these bones, we go here, enter bendy bones, and change this one to 5. 
okay five segments so again here five enter and for the hand we can keep it like this i'll just use two segments and then for the neck we can use two segments too five and here you see that there is some distortion here but just when you go here and add just one segment so two segments that distortion is eased and it looks good and two segments here too and same for the right so this is also a very easy phase i think the hardest phase of all this is to uh, create the inverse the kinematics even that is not too complicated once you know how to do it everything is bendy except uh, the head if you want to do that just do it back here and we go back to our regular bones and we will try our rig now so first we try our inverted kinematics first we try to move this foot it moves beautifully you see that it uh, it can kind of glitch here and that is because of the this pivot to fix this is very easy just uh, let's move this out like this and move this here and then there's no problem at all so if we put it here when the foot passes this point it will flip just like this it's not a glitch it's just how this bone works so just keep it here and there won't be any problem this uh, bone will bend the foot like this and this will help us when we are doing a walk cycle for example this bone i think won't rotate because we will rotate with this it now connected to this bone for rotations the other leg also should work properly nice the inverse kinematics are working very well and then if we move this one with g you see that you can lower the body without moving the feet even the feet do not rotate you can make him jump like this and then we have this bone if you rotate it you will rotate everything if you rotate this guy you will rotate the arms and the head and we would do this kind of movement if you rotate the neck you will rotate the head too and this is a very beautiful movement and if you rotate the head you see that you rotate the neck a little bit and for the arms so you just can rotate like this and if you see that the hand rotates too much you can rotate it back like here like this and you can rotate this too and you see the bend here is very beautiful and if you get it up like this it's also very good and this bend is also very beautiful only here there's a little bit of glitch when you go all the way here but it's not that bad it's beautiful i like it <laughs> or i will pretend that i like it and if you move this down too you can get the hand like this and then like this and then like this you see and you can move your hand like this and of course we have also our other bones these uh, tweak bones that can do a lot of stuff too if you want to do that scan that kind of uh, stuff you, you see you can move your yeah there's a lot of flexibility in this rig that's something you may notice in your character when you move your hand here maybe it will be in front of your leg so that's also an easy fix so if you move this you will see that my arm is not uh, aligned with the body it is like behind the body and that's why it won't show when it goes here and that's a very easy fix of course in object mode you do g y and you move it as you like you can even have them both in front both arms in front and for the feet too you will maybe like to have this one in front of the other foot so we select our rig back to pose mode and you see this leg should be in front of this leg the head too is a little bit in front of the rest of the body there are some things you can do here too like uh, locking the axes here so that the spoon can go like this but how to figure out which one to lock so you go to one and then move it like this and check which one doesn't move so the lowest value is the x value it's like uh, 0.00 so you can look lock this one the x value so we do the same for this we go one we test it first yes it's the same so we block the z axis or the x and then for our flip bones also for this one it's the z it's not the x but the z so we block the z and we test again it moved very well and we test this one finally 
and I think the same thing is the Z. Okay guys, so if you want to buy this guy, rigged and all, uh, it's for $5 on Gumroad. You can find the link in the description if you want to support the channel and get this uh, beautiful rig for yourself. And uh, of course, now you are able to make a similar rig, a rigify uh, elegant rig and very easy to make and uh, even the weight paint is very easy in, two, in 2D uh, compared to weight painting in 3D. So thank you for watching and see you in another video. Peace!